Welcome, Warning Army. So, we have a, a warning, the Europe tour from Prague, Italy, from, from April, uh, part two, Badger movie. I think I've seen part one, I'm not sure. Uh, seeing Danny on Patreon, she said her back's getting better. That's, that's a good thing. And, um, them girls are so pushed, man, they've done so much. But, they're, um, they're living life and they're they're putting the work in, so that's, that's a great thing. I just wanted to check this out. Wow. Beautiful. What was the name again? Manolo. Manuelo. Manolo. 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 Where are we at? Where, where are we at today? Milan, Italia. Casi me atropella un italiano aquí. Mentadas de madres en italiano que ni entiendo. Rigatoni. Rigatoni. It's, it's a me. It's a me, Mario. Benvenuti a Milan. <laughs> Ciao's bye, right? Um, it means, I think, I think it means, could mean, can mean hello or goodbye, later, depending on later, the context. Um, I think, uh, arrivederci, and I don't know if you have, like, I know Spanish is different in Spain, <laughs> so it's a uh, it's a little different than than it is. Um, uh, it's a little different everywhere. Kind of like English is broken, like different places you go. Uh, I know Puerto Ricans and Mexicans speak a little bit different, especially the bad words. They're definitely different. Um, I know those, but can't say those. <laughs> um, Grazie is like hello, that's right. And ciao is like later or see you. I'm pretty sure. Pal said ciao. <laughs> Rigatoni. It's a me. It's a me, Mario. Benvenuti a Milan, Italia. Per primera vez.
no, 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 no. You want me to get on top of it? Do we have a jack? El cable, ese cable está atorado en la llanta, no lo puede. No, 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 Necesita aire, the warning. <laughs> they need air. Um, and they got the, the uh, little, I guess that's a juice. Uh, they ain't gas. It's like uh, smart cars, I reckon. Ah, uh, yes, juicing it up. Um, there was a previous video where I missed an important article of clothing that someone was wearing. So now I'm paying a lot more attention to that. So I noticed there was someone in that big audience for the warning that had a Love Bite shirt on. So that's, uh, once again, these buddies are uh, taking over. Taking over rock, taking over metal. Um, hmm. I think I've, almost every musician I've seen interviewed has talked about this being a highlight of their uh, profession, that they can see, like, the travel itself can wear you down. But just being able to see all these amazing places and sort of have time to look around is definitely a highlight. I've always wanted to go to Italy. For some reason, it's absolutely fascinating. Get a very deep and interesting culture. And Italians are some of the most, like, alive people you will ever run into. <laughs> They're always a blast. So, yeah. And, you know, awesome is awesome in any language. So these, uh, these ladies look like they were rocking the house there. Yeah, no doubt. Um... I uh, escorted mobile homes, and I went through a lot of different places. Like, I've been through Washington several times, seen the Washington Monument stuff, but I never stopped. So I kind of, in a very smaller scale, know what that's like to go through places. And Because uh, I stopped at Burkittsville. I, I left my driver and unhooked the truck and went to Burkittsville to see where the Blair Witch was shot. Because that's when this was big. Leave a message. Viva México. Viva. Vamos a poner a pistola. 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 Vamos a poner a pistola.
pero sí. Te gustó más eso bien? cuando haces el... Aquí suena bien bonito, sube, pero era tú, tú, tú. Ya, ya, al final de tú, güey. Pues. La Mira, yo... bien, pues. Spoiled for good music. Yeah, no doubt. That is a that is amazing architecture. German architecture is one of a kind, no doubt. Um, I mentioned awesome is awesome in any language. Uh, awesome in German is Eindruckwohl. <laughs> yeah, Eindruckwohl. German, German's hard to speak, man. I mean, it's yeah. I um, yeah. I, I, I always love the sound of it, though. It's, it's, uh... And in Italian, awesome is it's seccionale. Yeah. I think what you were thinking about is no means no in like seven <laughs> major languages. That's where we get the cliche no means no. Yeah. Uh, no is fr French, Spanish, so, um, English, yeah. Russian. There's all the, no. All the credit no, no, in the no, world. No. 
Yeah, all the credit in the world to, uh, for one thing, especially like, for instance, opera singers who have to learn how to actually have to assimilate the entire language to be able to sing in it properly. Uh, we learned that from Elizabeth Jaro. You know, you know the girl, patrons of the charismatic voice. Um, but just to be able to speak it fluently enough to connect with your audience like these ladies are doing on top of everything else that they're uh, that's on their ticket it's it's yeah that's cool it's like a lot of thing, work um, definitely worth it though like the the slip not last slip not reaction we done Corey Taylor come out in Germany uh, headlining the what festival was that um, it was huge whatever it was um, it was a fucking huge festival um, damn what was that Anyway, he, he come up speaking German, so yeah, that's um just just to learn a little bit, you know, to, to yeah. connect with your crowd is a. It was a cool deal. seeing the behind the scenes. They like gave him, they gave him key phrases to learn. It's like and at the end thing. when he told everybody to get down and jump up at one time, that was the most damn people I've ever seen jumping yeah. at one time. That was insane. I I love the uh, the little girl that they show in the audience. Uh, great that her um, musical tastes are already uh, really solid. So props to her parents for taking her there. That does remind me of a story. I won't make this too long, but I went to see a show. It was like a bunch of bands in it, but it was headlined by Epica. And I was looking around, and there were mostly like pretty heavy bands, but I'm looking around, and there's like older people there, and there's like young kids. I'm like, okay, it's interesting. This is a nice, diverse audience for a, a metal show. And uh, a band called Scar Symmetry took the stage. At this point, I was no stranger to metal concerts. This was the loudest, heaviest band I had ever experienced live. Like, the dude's vocals rattled my teeth, literally. <laughs> like, even during the sound check, they struck a chord, and I turned to my buddy Ryan, and I was like, he's not going to play through that, is he? So, I, the, that whole time they were playing, and I was trying to, you know, keep my head from on my shoulders, I was thinking about those kids. I'm like, were they just reduced to dust? Did they run? <laughs> But I'm pretty sure that lady, the, those, that young lady, had a much better experience at the uh, the warning show. Although I bet they're pretty loud too. Yeah, they seem to be. And and I said that um, I said in the band made reaction that um, I still can't remember the bass player's name, but her bass was more uh, prominent than Allie's, and, and I still stick with that. But Allie's is definitely deeper, and yeah, God, that bass is so thick and. Oh, I mean, just wicked nasty. I mean, um, Arya's got a nasty bass on too, but it's more um from from freeze to fall. But it's uh it's kind of like in between. Mm -hmm. Band made in morning. It's kind of like it's, yeah. She hits high tone, high chord sometimes, a higher tone, and I, I'm, I'm guess she does that with the pedal. Um, yeah, but it's um, you know. I think, I think Tool probably incorporates the bass more than any band ever has. Um, they confuse us and on who's playing lead, you know what I mean? So, um, that makes me really pay attention to the bass players. And and Mike Starr and, and, and um, Mike Hines from Alice in Chains, they, that bass is sick, nasty, rotten apple. God, I'm mighty that song is so... Sickening good, you don't see when the bass hits. Um, also, a perfect circle has a, a, a unique bass tone to it. Um, I, I don't know that, that cat's name. I know he looks like. <laughs> yeah, if you're talking about prominent bass, I would also throw, throw Iron Maiden in there. Uh, Steve has a much different tone, though. It's much clearer, kind of a pure tone, but just sort of like his drive and sort of like his method of playing. You can definitely hear uh, uh, echoes of in both Ali and me oh, playing. That, yeah, there's there's many bass players that have great tones. I simply meant the way Justin and, and Danny or um, Adam trade the lead. I, I've never never seen another band play that much lead with bass, but it, it, it it's confusing. You know what I'm saying. ¿Te gusta tener un micrófono así? Sí, muy caro así. ¡A mí también! 
Um, como, ¡Ay, voy! ¡No! ¿No qué? Es que después agarran un, un screenshot y dicen ¡Vean cómo traen a esas chicas! Se ven bien cansadas, déjenlas descansar, Pobrecitas, están sufriendo. Estoy cansada del efecto. ¿Me duele? Horrible todo esto para ¿Dónde estamos, Pau? Berlín. ¡A la dije de Hoch! Voy a hacer a la dije de Hoch y voy a muerte la cámara hacia allá. Okay. Para que hagan un corte. ¡A la dije de Hoch! Mark. <laughs> what the hell, man? Uh, wonder how many parts there are in this. I don't know, man. I never did see a one. <laughs> I think, well, right there is Europe Tour Part 3. Um, yeah, maybe we'll do it next. We have to make this a series, yeah. Part three. I know I seen a five hour damn concert, so the Guns N' Roses concerts. Is that um Carrie or Axel singing? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Someone's getting blown uh, off the stage there. <laughs> well, you know. Talk about a warning. You need a warning before Axel comes on stage. Yeah, I agree. Uh, so where's a band like Tool is a good example of how to uh, gave up. Well, back. good example of longevity done right. Guns N' Roses is a good example. Axel in particular. Thrash is still doing well, but uh, Axel is a good example just of how to shoot yourself in the foot nice and early. Yeah, the Steve guy still plays, right? Um, I think they play guitar. I don't know other names. I know what they look like. Yeah, I just know I know Axel and Slash. That's pretty much I liked, um, I really liked all those bands that they got I me. Mean, I liked 80s music when it was new. Yeah. I just don't, it's just not timeless to me. Um, the more subtle bands were like R.E.M. and U2 even. I mean, um, I'm going to really love Iron Maiden, but that's new to me. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much. I mean, um, I think I always thought Iron Maiden and Megadeth was the same band. <laughs> <laughs> and I do not like Dave Mustang. He's a freaking asshole. He's just, I'll keep my opinions to myself. But. I actually would like to see what would happen if you somehow managed to get Dave Mustang and Roger Waters in a room together. I mean, they fight. I mean, they're both rather surly different. individuals. Yeah, but there's got to be cameras, too. Cameras and microphones. That that would be something yeah. to react to. <laughs> they climb up in the corner and each of them, damn it. Get me out of here again. <laughs> Now, the uh, warning the exact opposite. Super likable, super talented, and they show no signs of stopping, slowing down. Even a, having a uh, banged up back is not going to stop Danny. So I'm glad she's feeling better. It's, on one hand, thank God she's young. On the other hand, you're touring the world in a bus. So, <coughs> And planes aren't exactly comfortable either. <coughs> so, And they rode in a ferry for like hours, like. Yeah. Six hours um, recently, because so, she was just talking about that on Patreon. So I hope at some point they will get to pay their their way by performing. I always thought that was cool. 
like the Seekers, like the uh, the Bee Gees. I was like that. Just your music is your uh, your currency. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, I think I don't, I don't think you can do that now. We got this a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. You talking about the Bee Gees came out. across the, the from Australia to London, I guess, and on a boat, and they they played music to pay their yep fare. Pay their fare, yep. So. Yeah, I don't think many people want to know what you meant. <laughs> All right, much love, everybody. And um, I'm going to, um, yeah, we're probably going to go to bed. <laughs> so, that was right on cue, man. Bam. My, my pal is directing us. She's a great director, by the way. She's, she, like, you can tell. She seems, that. like, really fun. But when her game face is on, she's focused. She, she knows what she wants. Yeah, she is uh, fearsome. No doubt. What's up?